Hello everyone, Moose Torrent here, and today we're continuing the Nuka World playthrough. This time we're on episode 7, and we're heading into Attention. the in World of Refreshment, of which has the Nuka Cola bottling plant in it. Provided by Nuka World employees. Thank you. Now featuring a river of quantum. I wonder if this is actually Nuka Cola quantum. We got, <laughs> we got 16 rads. Uh, I don't think you get any rads from drinking quantum necessarily, but... Okay. I do have quite a lot of rads. I don't remember how all that built up, but... I'm going to take this opportunity to eat a rad away. Or drink rad away. Inject right away. Prepare to experience life beyond Not Earth sure exactly how that works. Exhibit sponsored by a grant from the Vault Tech Corporation. How's it going, Kraz? You enter in the water, it looks like. And head around this rocket. I'm not getting irradiated just by standing in it, though. Hey, Damien, yeah, I just started this episode. I didn't even enter the area yet. So here we go. And I really have no idea what to expect in here in terms of enemies. Uh, maybe more <laughs> Nuka bots? We'll see. Could be ghouls, I guess. Um, I'm not really expecting the crickets, ants, or the blood worms. Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment. Fire Lurk, now eh? featuring a river of Nuka Cola Quantum. Nuka Lurk. <laughs> I guess I should have been crouching there. Nuka Cola Quantum. Twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. And just look at that amazing patented blue glow. Balanced it. So sit back and enjoy the ride as we take you through the Nuka Cola Nuka Cola began its journey in the year 2042 when our founder, John Caleb Bradford was a budding chemist. Can't pick that. He dreamt of a delicious I need a boat. That would provide energy, focus, and it took almost two years. Doesn't look like this one's going to be moving anytime soon. Yeah. Why am I not hitting that thing? America's number one favorite soft drink. Not long to rest on his laurel, Mr. Brad Burton and his team of talented beverageers continue to create new and exciting forms. Those quantum nuclerks. A wet. They enjoy regional favorites. Dang, that sneak attack really got him. There it is. These little things are so annoying. Oh, he has some bottle caps. Favorites. Such as the classy Nuka Cola Quartz and refreshingly patriotic Nuka Cola Victory. I guess I can't fit under there. These actually look like miniature buildings. I hit Gage. Oh no! Victory. 
Sounds like she's just repeating the same thing over and over again. What do we got here? An advanced lock door. We can pick this one. Got it. Gauge like that. We already got his affinity to max. So I'm not too worried about doing stuff he likes. Wow. Those turrets didn't see me. Okay. <laughs> I guess they were focused on Gage. I'll take those tickets. Did she say Nuka Cream? How's it going? Massimo? Vedovato? <laughs> Not sure how that's pronounced. That's my best guess. Uh, my character is level 91, I think. It took almost two years to perfect the formula, but in late 2044, Mr. Brad Burton was finally successful at Nuka Cola. There's some kind of item down there. It quickly surpassed other lesser beverages to become America's number one favorite. No, it doesn't look like it. Not one to rest on his laurels, Mr. Brad Burton and his team of talented beverageers. Or for those that prefer, I like hopping for some reason. They pick up a delicious Nuka Cola Wild. There's an ammo crate in this cage. Didn't even have to unlock it, because there's no door. Did I check over here yet? Employees only. Uh, no, I don't play on PC. El Nibre, just the PS4. recording is getting annoying. The staff terminal. Staff memos. Grand reopening. To all ride staff, after being on vacation for the past month, I'm sure you're all excited to be back and earning a paycheck. So let's see those smiles. We've only got a couple days before the grand reopening and if management doesn't feel like you're suitably eager and enthusiastic, you can be replaced. Don't forget, they can still decide to go fully automated for the reopening, so buck up and ride the quantum. In fact, I've been told by the beverageers that if you are feeling a little low on energy, you can drink the quantum right out of the river. This is new Nuka Cola Quantum. This new Nuka Cola Quantum is so packed full of energy that it kills any bacteria it touches. So drink up! Nuka bar automated till further notice. To all ride staff. Management has decided that the Nuka bar section of the ride is to be automated only until further notice, despite numerous warnings that actors are only to stimulate simulate drinking Nuka Cola Dark while staffing that section of the ride. Jenny fell off the stool and into the river. She's fine, but the nurse said she had a blood alcohol level of 0.37 after only two hours into her shift. While we appreciate her enthusiasm for Nuka Cola products, we also have to maintain a safe environment for our guests, one of whom lost their glasses when Jenny hit her head on the boat. 
this one is stick to the script. To all ride staff, I understand that some of you may have come to work for us for our other amusement parks. Wait. Come to work for us from other amusement parks where ad living was permitted or even encouraged, but here at Nuke World, we ask that you stick to the script. For example, the Wild West section of the ride is to be staffed only by cowboys or cowgirls. It is not to be staffed by Nuka Girl, Zaytans, Clowns, Knights, Pirates, Gorillas, Ninjas, or Sea Monsters. No more pranks. Nope. It has come to our attention that a number of pranks have been played on workers in the bottling plant. Be advised that these kinds of pranks are not in keeping with the culture outlined in the Nuka World Employee Handbook. For example, filling a tray of empty bottles with dry ice and sending them into the capper so they explode when sealed is clearly a violation of safety protocols. I'm sure when Randall gets out of the hospital, he'll probably say it was hilarious, but Nuka-Cola is paying for his eye surgery, so management finds it less funny. Let's see. Hey Vampire Biggie and Lit Portugeek, how's it going? <laughs> oh, bonjour, sir. Pizza rims of a delicious soft drink that would provide energy, focus. No, I don't remember. I think I came from upstairs. Thirty percent alcohol by volume is quite a lot. <laughs> I got turned around since I read that term. No! Welcome to the Nuka Cola World Dang it. Now featuring a river of Nuka Cola Quantum. Oh boy. I can't believe I fell out of that hole in the wall. There's always one of these things still alive. Hey, Kurosis, I have no idea what the max <laughs> uh, AR for Bare Fist is. I never really mess around with Bare Fist, to be honest. It feels weird that you can get up here and on top of that building. So I'm gonna double check that because I feel like there could be an item. It quickly surpassed other lesser beverages to become America's number one favorite soft drink. I guess not. Unless maybe you go this way. Not one to rest on his laurels. Mr. Brad Burton and no. his team of talented beverageers. That's such a waste of an area. Why is that door even there? Out west, they enjoy regional favorites, such as the classy Nuka Cola Corn and refreshingly patriotic Nuka Cola Victory. Victory! Nuka Cola began in the year 2042. Nuka Cola Quantum. There's the whole twice I fell the calorie, off. twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. Look at that amazing Got him. Blue glow. Got some frag grenades. Detecting sentient light. Dang, it sounds like there's a uh, a Sultron down there. Not something I'm in the mood to fight. Actually, I changed my mind. I am in the mood to fight one of those. Oh, hey, how about that? Mine. Part of the turret. Here in the bottling chamber, we carefully pour new corrosive liquid into our new oh God. space age rocket bottle. Nice try, asshole. But 
I'm still standing. Here's my marker. Whoa. I guess I got a quest that I didn't even make active. Oh, I did. Here are the Nuka Cola bottling plants exterior and interior. <laughs> I guess it's a possible chance. I don't know when I'm going to do uh, Space Age PvP for Dark Souls again. Though. Area, we combine just a hint of 17 select fruit flavors to produce that unique Nuka Cola taste. I hear that Assaultron running around. But this isn't just a ride, it's one of several other There she is. Oh, there's another one. I think I'm gonna drink some Nuka Cola. Got plenty of that stuff. Ice cold victory gives me 11 rads. I think I'll pass on that. Ice cold quantum. I'll save that for when I need some more HP. Myler cake. I need a queen steak and if I ever get some more radiation, I'll be drinking that Nuka Buzz, was it? Yeah. No, berry. To produce that unique Nuka Cola taste. Here in the bottling chamber, we carefully pour each delicious liquid into our new Space Age rocket bottle. Those little things are so annoying. The world. We hope you have enjoyed the ride and learned more about Yuka Cola. I just like bounced off. On behalf of There's an all astronaut the suit. World. We hope you have enjoyed the ride and learned more about Yuka Cola. Oh, a salt run. All of us at Nuka World. We hope you have enjoyed the ride. I'm learning more about Nuka. Yikes. Those things do a lot of damage, man. Noodle Cup. Nuka Buzz. I just need a lot of HP. Quantum. Quartz. Wild. Doesn't really do too much. Cooler. I needed that too. Ah, another one. Jeez. Get some headshots. The Sultron Invader. more AP back. There's 150... 125 for the buzz. Those things are scary, man. Especially in this large number. And they got that laser beam. Oh, and this melee attack does a lot of damage too. That Nuka Cooler must have drastically increased my HP. 
965. I don't think it was that high before. This is where we produce the newest member of our family, Duca Cola Quanto. Wait, is this the beginning of the ride? My arm. Coming back in. Coming soon to your favorite group. Do not operate motor vehicles or heavy machinery for at least eight hours after drinking. I didn't clear it. There's still this thing. <laughs> Why did that take so long? Hey, Mom and Dad. Are you ready for a night out on the town? Then pick up an ice Why? <laughs> Critical. Oh man, this lady is driving me insane. Don't think I can pick this. Force of habit. Is this place like a big circle? There's a quantum up there? Beverage. They pick up a delicious Nuka Cola Wild. I wonder if I can just jump up there and grab it. Yeah. A West. Got some quantum. So this is the way you'd normally come in. I just went in this hole. And be on the lookout for our special pre-release shipments of Nuka Cola And I guess this is coming soon. The end of the ride? Well, out here on the East Coast, then pick up an ice cold Nuka Cola Dark and experience the most thirst quenching way to unwind. Here in the packs, always good. Here in the bottling chamber, we carefully pour each delicious liquid to keep our juice. That blue glow is just for so on behalf of all of us yeah, I guess that's the end of the ride. <laughs> I climbed the bottle. Don't leave anything Did this little <laughs> Mirelurk baby kill that Protectron? I did indeed. So sit back and enjoy the ride as we take you through the Nuka Cola World of Refreshments. So I kind of took this backwards. Let's see, that's a dead end. Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshments, now featuring a river of Nuka Cola Quanto. There's that hole that I fell out of. Thirty-five percent alcohol by volume. Hey, dysfunctional Dark Moon, what's up? Doesn't seem like I've been over here yet. Got some cool music. And that lady stopped talking. Man, this is my jam right here. What is this? Nuka Cherry. Nuka Cherry. And Nuka Cherry. Oh my gosh, look at all this Nuka Cola. <laughs> I don't think I can carry all that stuff. I guess I can give it to Gage. Let's 
So much cola. Dang, is this quantum? Wow. And there's the music like we reach the end of the area. Hey. What's up, boss? More than happy to hold all the expensive stuff. And you're gonna get a desk fan, a circuit board, and a lot of Nuka Cola. this thing I guess that's where the Nuka Cola Quantum is made this fancy contraption gunners how'd gunners get in here there's our End of the area steam trunk. Looks like she got taken out by the Mirelurk, but she took it down with her. Hey, hey, Starcore, nice. Is there something out there? Let's check the security terminal. Open door, that's uh, pretty simple. Hey, hey, Tor Jimenez. I'm not sure what Rapture is. I thought I opened that door. Maybe I close it again on accident. Guess it was nothing. Hmm. Open door. System error. Main power offline. Where did she lock down? Okay. So I have to turn the power on to get into here. Make a note of that. Crabby. Hey Chub Breezy, what is my PS4 sign? I mean like the little icon by my name or what my name is? Because my icon is a paladin from Final Fantasy. And my name is Moose Torrent, one word. Oh man, more cola. And, oh, that's part of a turret. Check the old mapperoo. I hate these maps. Rarely do they help you out. Looks like this will take me outside. Sounds like we're taking some radiation. Hey, let's try not to irradiate ourselves, okay? Uh, some more Meyer lurks. 
Well, nuke alert, I guess. It's more accurate. Those ones weren't all that tough. Ah. Come on, Furious Rifle. Dang. <laughs> The furious effect is pretty good. I'll run some more. Drink some more. Nuka Cola, what do I have? Quantum, do I have another really good one? Nuka Fruity. That's for some rads, though. Nuka Ray. That might do it. Are they? Oh, he's up top. Why is my HP going up so slowly? that happening before guess we're just trying to clear the rest of the bottling plant Much down there. Use your head. Wear a hard hat. Sound advice. I'm not really trying to pick up junk at this point. Just a gun bash for good measure. Well, it seems like we cleared the plant already. There was not much here. Oh, wait. Casey's password. They hit Boston. They hit Boston. This is really happening. Janine's college is out there. The hell with the evacuation protocols. I have to go find a Raul, if you find this. Sorry, I couldn't stick to the buddy system. Good luck. So, that guy, or I guess it could have been a girl, went to go save their child. We have no idea if they did or not. It's kind of a random note. I thought I heard something. Like a radio. Hmm. Fusion core. Looks like we can go even higher up. Oh, 
What is at the top of the giant bottle? Oh, is it just a flag? <laughs> um, I did disciples, so then operators, so then pack, then disciples, and then operators. Now I have to speak to Gage. And I level up. I guess there doesn't seem to be a whole lot over here. Just a little area with some enemies to kill. <laughs> Razor grain? I didn't think people were eating razor grain back before the bombs fell. Looks like there's a little bit more to this area besides the building and on top of the building. And I believe Gage just <laughs> fell off the top and hurt his leg. I heard him say, oh my leg! Classic Gage move. Take that bottle cap. I think it rains too much in this game. Like, yes, it does rain in real life. I don't mind putting some rain in the game. But come on. running low. I had 700 bullets when I first pulled out this gun. I have 326 and 75 in the clip. And another Nuka-Cola. And some 20mm electromagnetic cartridges. Did you know that a bullet is technically called a charge? Uh, not a charge, a cartridge? The actual lead or metal part at the very tip of the bullet is called the bullet. And the cartridge is including the bullet, the casing, and the gunpowder, and the igniter. No one calls them cartridges, though. What was that? It just said World of Refreshment. <laughs> yes. Oh! It's probably that tube right there. I see. What's going on, Alexander? And I'm not smoking anything. I do have some lemonade, though. If that has any effect on your cognition, I'm unaware of it. There's a little spot over here we can check out.
token. Did I finish that quest? Yeah, I must have. Oh, I still need to get the Cappy and the Bottling Plant, though. Got all the other ones, it looks like, yeah. So just the Bottling Plant. <laughs> Speak to Gage is right there. Well, since I'm here, I might as well get that Cappy. And I can level up. I don't know what perk I want, though. Down there. Two more <laughs> Mirelurk spawn. Gage can take those guys out. I'm not worried about them. Budding Green Blossom? Hmm. Never heard that before. <laughs> I have no idea if you can smoke lemons or not. Where's that cappy? wonder if it... Speak to Gage. Hmm. And that's the Commonwealth. Oh wait, there's another one. You know it's upstairs. Both those markers are right on top of each other now. Oh shoot, that takes me outside. <laughs> oh boy. Auto saving. I guess I don't have to worry about randomly dying to a Mirelurk spawn now. Okay, so that Cappy is on this floor somewhere. Or on this level. Drat. Wonder if I can get close enough to see it on the map. And now for a special surprise. This! We got the password. Mm -hmm. Okay, open some door. Is where we produce the newest member of our family, Nuka Cola Quantum. Did you guys see a door somewhere? for that last time. That 
to go this way. The only door I know of that was locked like that was over here. And when I tried to unlock that one with the terminal, it said I could do it because the power was not on. This is a different one, though. Looks like I unlocked another door. Oh, Cappy, where art thou? I thought that door was over here. That takes me outside, I believe. <laughs> Looks like that thing's still alive. Okay, I'm pretty close to that cappy. I should be able to see it on the map now. Ugh, not really. And Dad, are you ready for a night out on the town? Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment. Now featuring a river of hmm. Nuka Cola Quantum. Maybe I can go past it. Out west, they enjoy regional favorites. Then find it and refreshingly patriotic Nuka Cola history. It took almost two years to perfect the formula, but in late 2044, Nuka Cola of a delicious soft drink that would provide Nuka energy. Cola. Okay. Quantum okay. and the calories. Where'd it go? Okay. Too close now. Taste, and just look at that amazing patented blue glove. It's somewhere up there. Oh. Nuka Cola began its journey in the year 2042 when our founder. So sit back and enjoy the ride as we take you through the Nuka Cola. Some World behind the scenes segment. action. It's a pretty dark place. Look at that ceiling. <laughs> There's not even any lights on it. While out here on the east coast, folks delight in the refreshment of an ice cold Nuka Crate, Nuka Orange, or Nuka 35% alcohol by volume. What the heck? Just a ride, Maybe this is the security door I unlocked. Actively producing Nuka Cola. Plus three agility. Hmm. How about that? Do not operate motor vehicles or heavy machines. Or at least eight hours after well, <laughs> might as well. I didn't even see that. That's pretty cool. Here in the mixing area, we combine just a hint of here in the bottling chamber. Oh my god. We pour each delicious liquid into our new. On behalf of all of us at Nuka World, we hope 
Oh. Uh, man, I just can't get that cappy on the map. I know it's in like the top Welcome right somewhere. To the -Cola or the top of left. Now but it's always disappearing before I could see exactly where it is. Back. Twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. And just look at that amazing patented blue glow. Nuka Cola began its journey in the year 2042 when our founder, John Caleb Bradford, was aluminum a can. Image. <laughs> this power armor. <laughs> That's too funny. That's as far as you could go. Oh gosh. Why'd they have to put this cappy inside? Speak to gaze. It's not what I want to do. Out west, they enjoy regional favorites such as the classy Nuka Cola Quartz and refreshingly patriotic Nuka Cola Victory. Let me know if you guys see a cappy. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh. Or for those that prefer wow. a root based beverage, I, was, oh they my god. Nuka I can't believe it. Wild. I cannot believe that. That is too good. Out west, they that, enjoy... Oh man. I was about ready to give up. Regional favorites, such as the classy Nuka Cola Quartz and refreshing. And that's all ten clues. Better get these back to Sierra and see what you can make of them. That is too funny, man. For those that All right. Timeless root based beverage. I know, that was that was some good timing. How's it going, Alpha Dog? Usually how I find those is I, uh... I'll go up to the map. And it'll be marked somewhere. Like, let's say it's in the top right corner of this. Oh, it looks like a zoom in and right there so I'll know to go right by wherever this is because the marker disappears when you're within 40 feet because they want to make you kind of look for it which I think ends up working pretty good but you can't do it inside of a building because for some reason they don't let you view the entire building on your map Well, it's always good to hear from longtime fans, sir. Random person, how's it going on? I guess I could talk to Gage. Hey, need some? Well, I'll be damned. You actually did it. Nuka World is ours. All of it. You expected otherwise? Hey, show a little respect. I was trying to turn on my light. <laughs> you just gotta understand. We ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, let's keep this party going. 
I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Oh boy. Aiming pretty high, aren't you, Gage? Why stop there? Why not take over the moon while we're at it? <laughs> now nah, the little green men can keep that one. Take him back, Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. Needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? Hmm. You sure that's wise? We just got this place back on its feet. Do you think it's wise to watch the gangs tear each other to pieces, fighting over what's left of this place? Of course you don't. So let's focus on avoiding that. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. Shank? What's he gonna do? Show me how to milk a Brahmin? Maybe. If you ask him nicely, just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you need my advice and you want me to keep tagging along, you've got it. He looks so funny when he jumps. <laughs> I imagine that's how Solaire would jump. Why can't I run? There it goes. Let's see. I'm gonna go to Fizz Toppy Mountain. The parlor. Most of those areas weren't too difficult. Seems like the raiders should have been able to do that themselves. I am pretty hyped for Fallout 76. That's actually part of the reason why I'm doing this. <laughs> I wanted to play Fallout ever since I saw that trailer. And the more I hear about the PvP, the more I like how it sounds. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. You don't say. That last one died too fast. Losing my time. Wouldn't hurt to tip the scales a little in our favor. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Hey. Yeah. What's up? Time to divvy up the loot. Store this stuff. You a fan of antiques, boss? But he's gonna fall. <laughs> and down he goes. Let's put all my junk in there. Put those cabbie glasses in there too now. Oh, quest item.
Put some Nuka Cola in there. And all my junk, except money. I can just sell the money. And let me take a nap. No, don't take the pillow. Have a nice little sleep. Should I use my main power armor or the Nuka Cola power armor? Probably the Nuka Cola power armor. Because we are doing the Nuka Cola portion of the game. That would just make sense. Never gets old. Okay, so dead ahead. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're Thought the game froze there for a second. Happy hunting! I found all the hidden cappies. Each one had a letter? Great. Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared at Nuka Cola merchandise as long as I have would get this one pretty fast. The letters definitely spell refreshing. It's <laughs> simpler than I was expecting. I saved the Minutemen. I did the main quest with them. The Railroad and the Brotherhood of Steel. So how do we use this code? This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to see the ten numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. His password is refreshing. Work looking for the hidden copies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. Well, let's do it. That's it. The door's unlocked. Let's go inside. Yay! We did it. Whoa! Let's search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a. Who killed gorillas? Somewhere. No way Brad Burton would leave it out in the open. We got a nuka grape. And then packing Bobby Pin, that's not bad. It's hard to believe I'm really here. Quantum Cola and Sherry. Search carefully. What we're looking for might not be easy to find. It's probably on this terminal. Oh wait, a flyer. Let's see. Find the hidden cappies. Oh, that's just like telling you where the cappies were. We can play this Nuka Cola Clear. In regards to Nuka Cola Clear production, 
I think it's obvious that we need to take a step back and examine the facts. Project Cobalt dropped Quantum in our laps, so I think it's best we leverage its potential popularity before someone else beats us to market. Additionally, Installing the equipment to produce both flavors would cost us a pretty penny, and I'd rather use the funds to promote Quantum. We also have our Lemon Lime flavor debuting soon, and need to work out how to market two clear colored flavors simultaneously. With all these factors taken into account, I have no choice but to hold off Nuka-Cola Clear production for at least the next two fiscal years. Look at this place. Well, you're not gonna have time to do that. Yeah, I did bomb the institute, so I guess <laughs> I did kill those gorillas. Oops. Look in, around, and behind everything. Probably in the safe, which will need to unlock with the terminal. And we have to Giles Mainsgrove, the Vault Tech Special Projects Division. Just wanted to reach out and say thank you for the work you've done on my private sanctuary. With the installation of the control switch, work is finally complete. I'm using Antidote to share about the final day, the engineers needed to know where to place the access switch. Obviously, I wanted it concealed, but where? Then the answer came to me. It should be placed near my greatest creation, the very reason for my success. I think we can both agree that it was an inspired choice. Thanks for everything, Giles. The money has been wired to your account. So... That was too Brad Burton. I think... No, it was too Giles from Brad Burton. So we have to find out what is Brad Burton's greatest achievement. Hmm. Or his greatest creation. Sir, I've cleared your schedule as you requested for the later half of the entire year. I can assure you this was no small feat. Also, your medical records have been transferred to Braxton's team and all the backup copies destroyed. I hope you know what you're doing, sir. If you go through with all this process, you may never be able to speak in public again. We can certainly work around that, but your presence has been the driving force behind the Nuka-Cola Corporation since the beginning, and I think it will be a great loss if that were to change. And that is to Brad Burton. And this one is to Huxley from Brad Burton? I've considered your proposal for shutting down the Galactic Zone to overhaul the Star Control mainframe and its robots. I have to say that I am taken aback by the suggestion. If there's one thing I taught you, it's that no matter how tough things get, we never give up. Tell the manager over there he'll just have to hunker down and make do with what he has. I've poured billions into this park, and I'm not about to watch it trickle away by closing the gates. As far as disarming the robots in the park, that's also a no. Things go south at Nuka World. That force of robots is the only protection we have. Cooperating with Robco was the only way I could get that type of weaponry allowed inside of a, outside of a military base. So suck it up and get whatever his name's butt moving over here to fix this problem. Sir, I've done as you requested and informed all security personnel about our problems with the AFAD group. We're doing the best we can to keep them as far away from Safari Adventure as possible, but we're understaffed. I need every man, my people, to project... wait. I need every man and woman I can get, but you've assigned 12 of my people to Project Cobalt and I've yet to replace them. Any help is appreciated, sir. Have a wonderful day. I've started reviewing the Hidden Cappy contest details, and I had a question. 
So I actually have to receive the contest winners in my office in person? If so, have you considered how Project Cobalt could affect that idea? I'll do it for now, but we'll have to revisit the issue once my transfer is complete. Anyway, I promise you that I will submit the rest of my comments and changes this week. I've been too preoccupied with the Project Cobalt, and I've definitely put it off for too long. Don't worry, Peyton. If I take any longer, just tell the marketing team to come after me with the torches and pitchforks. Sir, I appreciate your enthusiasm over quantum, over the quantum beverage idea, but I really think we should run more tests before we just send it out to market. The isotope that we're using is strontium-90? Wow. So it's actually radioactive. <laughs> I always thought the Nuka thing was a joke, but um, not when it comes to quantum, apparently. <laughs> it's perfect for the military's application, but even with Rex's purification distilling process, it can be dangerous. Now I know that bright blue bottles will look wonderful on store shelves, and we stand to make a lot of money with this product, but think of the long-term effects it can have. We already know it causes the Imbibiters... Imbibers? <laughs> Who says that word? I've never said I'm going to imbibe in some Nuka-Cola. I would just say drink. Anyways, the imbibers yearn to glow. And while others in the beverage lab find that amusing, I find something like that coming out of my body disturbing. I have a battery of tests I'd like to perform before we release the product to the Washington DC test market. All I ask is a six to eight month delay. I await your answer. Absolutely love the Nuka Condolences fruit and cheese baskets you sent to our families of our earlier prototype quantum flavor testers. Great idea. I think I love the fine print on the health damage waiver. We had them sign before they joined up even more. Saves us billions, I suspect. You're at the top of your game, Peyton. Maybe someday you'll be sitting in a big chair. For now, enjoy that shiny new quantum blue Corvega you found parked in your driveway this morning. You earned it. So these new Coca-Cola guys are <laughs> kind of jerks. <laughs> oh, man. I never went to the new Coca-Cola plant in... Uh, Fallout 3. Okay, so... No way I could pick this. It's hard to believe I'm really here. Hmm. I know that formula's here. I also know it'll be carefully concealed. <laughs> it's not behind the shelf. He said, "Put it by his I greatest I been here before the war. You know, creation." Happy. Could just be in that safe, but I can't unlock that. Search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets, and they'll probably be well hidden. Indeed. Chair. This is like it's probably in mystery. his office, but I'm not seeing it. 
How's it going, Sir Pill? Anybody have any ideas? Under the desk, like at Kellogg's house? That's a good idea. I feel like I checked there, but... It's possible. Somewhere. No way Bradburton would leave it out in the open. Maybe it's under this flyer. Oh. I can't... I guess I can take it. No? Maybe there's a clue on the flyer. Was it Cappy Flyer or Nuka Cola Flyer? Must have been Nuka Cola. Oh, that's M. I have a lot of tickets. Jeez. Not let me zoom in anymore. Oh, dang it. I was hoping the code would be on the other side. Let's see. Row down the river and see the old west where Cappy is hiding. Can you pass his test? Down around. This could be close to the ground. Enter the hedges. Well, that wasn't it. Wish I could have been here before the war. You know. Skim through these one more time. Installation of the control switch work is finally complete. I'm using anecdote to share about the final day. Engineers needed to know where to place the access switch. Ugh. Obviously, I wanted it concealed, but where? Then the answer came to me it should be placed near my greatest creation, the very reason for my success. I think we can both agree that it was an inspired choice. So what is his greatest creation? Just is it in his office? Yeah, it says search the office. Garbage can? Is that his greatest creation? What we're looking for might not be easy to find. <laughs> no, it certainly is not. I'm gonna beat her to death with this globe. <laughs> Just bounces off her head.
This is amazing. This is like walking through history. It says it's in his office, but in, around, and behind everything. I don't know. What? I wish I could have been here before the war. Well, I you found know, an elevator there. <laughs> You think I can destroy the bookshelf? I'll try to shoot it, I guess. I know that Bonnie was here. I also know it'll be carefully concealed. Well. It's hard to believe I'm really here. Oh man, I can't believe that's still on the desk. Maybe it's in Sierra's brain. <laughs> this is amazing. I've been looking long enough, I'm starting to consider it. Ah! Look at that. It's kind of funny that I found the elevator before I found the button. <laughs> Let's do it. See you later, Sierra. Hey, Kelly Moon, what's up? After you. Wow. What is this place? Let's take a closer look. Damn, there's a whole vault over here? Oh, what if he's still alive and he's a ghoul? God. Or at least it's his head. Wow. Oh, you. I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my God. It's alive. He's alive. <laughs> I mean, Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka Cola more than anything. It's such an honor. You there, with the pit boy. What are you doing here? We used the contest code to get in. What the hell happened to you? I made a devil's <laughs> bargain, though I didn't know it at the time. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. Who was General Braxton? He was one of the top men in the Army Research Laboratory's Weapons and Materials Division. He'd taken a keen interest in my quantum mechanics research and offered me a trade. 
exchange for my assistance on a top secret weapons project, he gave me access to an experimental process that could artificially extend my life. Like a fool, I leapt before I looked. I've certainly paid the price for my short-sightedness. A... a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them on one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! Are you really sure that you want to die? I've had plenty of time to think about it. <laughs> I guess so. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. <laughs> I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy. But there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Brad Burton wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. Hmm. I guess I could do both, because we got an autosave when we entered the room. But I want that prototype. Yeah, but if I don't cut the power, then that door doesn't open. And I don't get my prototype ammo. I know, I know, but <laughs> I have something else that I can offer you instead. At least hear me out. I've got a limited edition Nuka Cola jumpsuit. Oh my it's god. Really yeah, I really want that. And not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but. Well. I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka Cola jumpsuit? Ha! <laughs> That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours. But I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka Cola? Yeah, that's true. Can you imagine being trapped like that for centuries? Please, think carefully. Don't rush your decision. <laughs> Gage is just over there. Acquisitions. Merle's Very Cherry Soda. Original name, Merle's Very Cherry Soda. Previous patent holder, Merle Haverston. New name, Nuka Cherry. <laughs> so they basically just bought a different company. And... Change the name to get Nuka Cherry, I guess. Uh, original formula was a local homebrewed pure cherry soft drink. Made slight adjustments to the formula, but otherwise left flavor intact. Mixed with Nuka Cola, then enhanced with color to boost visual appeal. And then Great Pearl Soda. And its original formula sold overseas. Flavor profile virtually unchanged. Slight ingredient adjustments for cost purposes. Full rebranding and repackaging completed as per Nuka Cola marketing division. Sharon's Down Home Country Lemon. Original formula holds promise, but ingredients are quite expensive. 
don't recommend use of current formula for cost-effective production. We'll try to work out the kinks and get the flavor ready as soon as possible. Pack, packed full of Joe. This is a Nuka Boost. Original formula adjusted to mix with Nuka Cola flavor profile. Initial taste test not positive. What recommend we rethink this flavor combination? So I hate these terminals. Okay, I guess this is not where you kill them. But we can read about Project Cobalt. General Braxton stopped by my office today. I already knew he was coming. My contacts in Washington, D.C. saw to that. He asked for exactly what I expected. The use of Nuka, Nuka World's beverage ears for military chemical and weapons program. I told him I'd do it if he gave me the information on the military's Leap X life extension and prolongation program. Ooh, excuse me. The look on his face when I asked was priceless. As expected, he said yes. The moment the Leap X data arrives, I'm putting a team to work on it right away. It's obvious that this world is headed for the end and I intend to outlast it all. I had Vault Tech modify my personal vault to accommodate the machinery required to keep the Leap X system running. It's costing me a fortune and I've had to divert money from the amusement park, but who cares? My money in the park won't be worth anything when the world is a smoky ruin. I've flown a few of Leap X researchers down here to make sure the prototype works. I bet they're glad to still have a job, seeing as all the military's money got diverted to wartime resources. I'm hearing complaints from my Nuka World team about the cutbacks, but they'll just have to make do. Meacham's work with the Project Cobalt struck gold. His team came up with a custom isotope based on strontium-90 he's calling Quantum. He believes he can use the isotope to weaponize almost anything in the military's arsenal. He's come up with a few prototypes like the Nuka Nuke, and we've even used the Quantum to enhance one of the military's power armor suits. Ironically, Meacham believes we can use this isotope somewhat safely as an ingredient in the new Nuka-Cola soft drink flavor. By reducing most of the harmful effects of the isotope, the quantum will actually grow longer than the ingredients we use in Quartz and Victory. In fact, I've told Meacham to start distilling it immediately and call it Nuka-Cola Quantum. The original intention of Leap X was to create a living biosuit to preserve my body after it would normally expire, but now I've been told by those idiots on the Leap X team that it's not possible. Leap X requires so much power and so many special components, it can only accommodate no more than 15 pounds of organic matter. That leaves me no choice. If I want to prolong my life, I'll have to have them preserve only my head. I told them to proceed. I haven't come this far just to give up and await the inevitable. This is my final entry. Today I will be undergoing the surgical procedure to have my head removed and transferred into the Leap X system. If anything should happen, I've instructed Peyton Huxley, my executive assistant, to handle my affairs. Peyton is the only one outside the Leap X team who knows about this procedure, and I am in trusting him to visit me daily and keep me informed of the events happening on the outside of my vault. So now we know why he was saying that Brad Burton would no longer be able to be the face of Nuka-Cola because he would just be a head in a jar for Nuka-Cola and I don't think people would like to see that. So it looks like the I power. Sort of feel sorry for him. Okay, the power's over here. Being a frozen head. So I'm gonna go ahead and do both. Just pop a quick save. Do 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 save. All right, which one do you guys want to see first? I'll just do Sierra first. Can you imagine being trapped like that for centuries? 
Let me get out of my power armor really quick. He's kind of a jerk. So it would probably be more torturous to be stuck in this jar and having to talk to Sierra all day. Hey, Sierra. But I'm gonna do both, like I said. To ask, but what's your decision? What about the secret Nuka-Cola formula you think is locked up in that vault? That was before we found John Caleb Bradburton in the flesh. Well, mostly. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll tell me the Nuka-Cola formula himself, along with all kinds of other things? <laughs> that would be incredible. Please, tell me that you'll let him live. I'll accept your offer. I won't shut the power off. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're doing the right thing! After all, this is a great man we're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a living legend to talk to. Good luck running Nuka World! <laughs> He's gonna hate that. You can't know how wonderful a real conversation can be until you've gone without one for a few hundred years. That all he has to say. Help yourself to anything that you think is useful. None of it means much to me anymore. I commend your diligence. It can't have been easy to find your way in here. I'm pleased to know that even now, yeah. the legacy of my work is still appreciated. Sierra has made that very clear to me. See if I can pop a plate on his head. No, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, the plate. Oh. Okay, can we shut off the power from here? Yeah. <laughs> She's attacking me. <laughs> and what is that jump shoot? Jumpsuit she said she was going to give me. I didn't even get to see it. Okay, so these are the Nuka Nukes. Got the Bradbert safe key for upstairs. Bunch of nuke cola. A formula. Excellent. Nuka nuke schematics. You can now build nuka nuke modifications. That's pretty cool. A formula. The nuka nuke launcher. Look, you want to offload a few things? Cigar box. Plasma pistol. Pre war money. So it definitely seems like it's more useful for you to open the vault. Let's see. Weapons. Nuke Nuke Launcher. Does 1,651 damage. Jeez. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like a blue quantum, too. Are you still alive, dude? I think he's dead, I don't know. <sighs> Did she give me that jumpsuit already? Yeah. Yep, that's it. <laughs> so if you really like this jumpsuit, you want to get both, you can... ...do that, I suppose. Oh my god! <laughs> I 
That's a pretty funny quest. I'm assuming it's going to take me right back to my save I made right in front of him. I sort of feel sorry for him. Yeah. Hi, Sierra. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what's your decision? Um, shutting off the power. No deal. I want that prototype and I'm going to get it. You really want to condemn one of the greatest minds of this generation to die? Even though I've offered you a better option. And just so you can get your hands on a weapon? <sighs> Guess I didn't realize you were so cold-hearted and selfish. Fine then. He wants to die. Destroy one of our You're the selfish one. Our national treasures. It looks like she doesn't attack you if you do it this way. She does not attack you. Oh, I just wanted to see what was in his safe. The original Nuka Cola formula. No schematics. Ebert's safe key. I think here were those schematics. The inventor of Nuka Cola. That was the opportunity of a lifetime. Emphasis on was. You wanted the Nuka Cola formula? Here it is. So it really was here. I'm grateful. I don't think this means I've forgiven you. You killed the man who was my greatest hero. A man who revolutionized the soft drink industry and whose creations put smiles on a million faces. Who the hell are you to just walk in here and destroy all that? choice and I respected that choice you should too I I guess so it's just that never not in my wildest dreams did I think I'd get the chance to talk to mr. Brad Burton in person to get an opportunity like that and then have it snatched away it, it hit me pretty hard still I can't overlook the fact that for one glorious shining moment. I got to meet the man who invented Nuka Cola. I'll never forget that. Not ever. And it wouldn't have been possible without your help. How could you forget a head in a jar? <laughs> now that you've got the formula for Nuka Cola, what are you going to do with it? I'm not a chemist, but I might try to brew some up just for fun. If that fails, well, I still got a new centerpiece for my collection. Here. I know it's not much, but you really went above and beyond the Call of Duty. I think I'll stick around Call of Duty. for a while and see what else I can find. By the time I'm done, I'm going to need a much bigger building to house my Nuka Cola Museum. <laughs> this jump is too funny. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this extra stuff. That ain't something you see every day. Right away. Money. Can't do that well in power armor. Oh, I'm way overweight. Oh, what's in these lunch boxes before I craft? Might be another cola protectron model. I wish you could have taken more time with Brad Burton before you cut the power. Well, that wasn't an option. Otherwise, I would have. Okay. 
Bit extreme doesn't really seem to give you much HP. It takes away some rads. Rush gives you a ton of HP. You could punch. Increases your max HP and gives you 150. Takes away some rads. I'll make one of those. Nuka Rush seems to be the best. Nuka Berry is really good too. Nuka Buzz. Nuka Cooler is the best. <laughs> 1200 HP plus 50 max HP. 349 AP and plus 20 AP. Jeez. Hey Dwarf Legion, what's up? Just came in near the end of the episode here. Fruity's really good. And now the only thing I can make is berry. And fancy. And buzz. And Nuka Cola. Yeah, <laughs> it is almost over, but all the episodes get uploaded to YouTube if you really want to see them. Doesn't look like there's too much else down here, but I do want to see what's in that safe. Just some ammo. Oh wait, General Bracton's visit to you. Let's give that a listen. Look, Brad Burton, I didn't fly down from DC to get jerked around. You either sign off on Project Cobalt or I can walk right out that door. This isn't like deciding what color bottle to pick for our next flavor, General. You're asking me to take my laboratories and my beverage years and basically turn them over to your team. I need assurances that my people and my facilities are going to be treated with the respect that they deserve. You and I both know that's a load of horse shit. Stop treating me like one of your soft drink competitors. I'm here representing the US military. I already told you you'd be well compensated. Now cut the crap and tell me what you're really after. Fine. I want in on the military's LeapX program. What? How the hell did you know about that? Let's just say you're not the only one in this room that can throw his weight around in Washington, General. I've been following the program ever since its inception, and I have to say that I'm impressed. The ability to keep a human in a state of veritable immortality using a machine? Now that's something that I didn't expect from the military. Look, you want me to agree to this proposal, then get me on the Leap X list, and I'll sign whatever you want. I always knew you were a greedy son of a bitch, John. But the last thing I expected to hear is that you were afraid of death. If you know so much about Lee Bex, then you know it's in its infancy, and there are a lot of kinks to be worked out. It isn't as easy as throwing a switch and suddenly you can live forever. Stop trying to talk me out of it. We both know the enemy is developing chemical and biological weapons, 
and that my beverageers are the top organic chemists in the world. Our countries are in a race where no one comes in second, General. So you need to ask yourself, can you really afford to stand here and say no? You had this all figured out before I even arrived, didn't you? Okay, fine. You want in on the Leapex program, you've got yourself a deal. You know, maybe immortality is what's best for you, Brad Burton. Be a goddamn shame to let that ego go to waste. And there you have it. The story of Brad Burton. <laughs> so, that was some pretty unexpected twist at the end there. I did say I was hoping he was still alive, so I guess it wasn't completely unexpected. But I did not expect him to be <laughs> in a jar. Do I think I can take on a level 206? I think I probably could kill a 206. Just, uh... Let's see, uh, most of my characters are 120, I have a couple of 130s, but that's pretty close to the diminishing returns, so probably wouldn't matter. Oh, I fought people all the time that were higher level. It, if you do it in the arena, it, it's sort of like match makes them down, so I don't know exactly how it works, but kind of nerfs them a little bit, so it's not as big a deal. But back in my heyday, I was playing uh, Dark Souls every Tuesday around this time. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to start doing that again. I'm going to finish this playthrough and then um, I'm going to do a Dark Souls 2 playthrough as well. But after that, I might do, do some more Dark Souls 3. We will see. But uh, friend me on Facebook if you want to know, because I'll post what I'm doing on there as well. If you do want to have a duel. I'll probably do some PvP in Dark Souls 2 before I head out after that playthrough as well. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and store my stuff in my steamer trunk at Fizztop Mountain. But I'm going to do that off screen. We're going to end this episode here. And in the next one, we'll continue with this quest. I'm going to try to do both of the endings for you guys to where I um, just complete the raider quest and also to where I kill all the raiders. So <laughs> we'll see what that looks like. This is Moose Torrent, and I'll be back with another episode for you guys shortly.